Okay, I'm going to help you lay out the lights for this small two bedroom home. Lights and smoke detectors. And so what we're going to do is we know from some of the rules in section 30 that we need a light in every room that's operated by a switch. So usually our switches are just inside the door. So if the swing of the door is that way, then we would make sure that we would go just as you come in that door. So we're gonna end up with one in the bathroom, one in each bedroom, one for the living room, and one for the kitchen. Now we needed one in the hallway. And so this is a little bit, this hallway has a bit of length to it, especially if you're going to the second bedroom. So I would say that we would put a three-way switch there so you could turn on the hallway lights as you're coming in. And then if you were going to bedroom two, you'd want to turn that off. So you put the other three-way switch there. These little tiny storage closets don't get lights and Often there is a sink light, so I'd recommend that you put a light over top of the sink and the switch for that would go just off to the right. And often there is a light right over top of your dining room table positioned perfectly. And that light switch, you can actually have it just in a, a uh, easy location so that you can get to it. The other thing that our section 30 talked about is that we want a switch for an outside light at each entrance. And so we need a porch light. Now that could go center of the porch. You could get fancy if you want. You can put two out there. And same here. Back door, we're just going to put one beside the door here. And then just going to, so the bedroom, often the second bedroom would just have a light that's in the middle of the room. Although you are also allowed to put it off to one corner if you want. That's kind of an older style where they put it uh, two feet out, two feet out, center it there. Uh, there's no rule that says where in that ceiling area. You have to have it. In the master bedroom, often what they do is choose or find out where the bed is going to be. So if our bed was going to be there, we might go with a three-way switch beside this bed and turn this switch into a three-way switch. So when you come in the door, you can turn on the light Maybe those are even switched plugs. So instead of an overhead light, what you could do is make the half of the receptacle on each side of the bed switch with those three-way switches. The other half of that receptacle has to stay live all the time to meet the minimum distance requirements. In the bathroom, there's often a light over the sink and a light somewhere near the tub so you can have some light when you're in the tub. And that could be two separate switches. So one for the tub and one for the sink. And this hallway, it's a funny little hallway. I think uh, I think I would almost put two lights in this hallway. Again, there's no absolute on this. Sometimes it's just common sense. And uh, these three way switches would turn both of those lights on. It depends on the length of this hallway, whether that one light would light up these, these areas. But since there's so much going on with closets and the hot water tank and the HVAC, I think I'd put an extra light here and that way, no matter which closet you were working in, you'd have some light in the hallway. Same thing here at this back door, because your washer and dryer are there and your dining room lights way over here. I think as I came in this door, I would probably put an entrance light there. So right now we have um, a switch for the outside light, 
And we have a switch here. We could have that for that light. The switch for the dining room lights over here. The switch for the sink light is over there. And I'm thinking that if I was coming in, so often we walk through things as we as we're laying out. So if I came in the front door with a bag of groceries, right now I don't have a way to get through this space. We know that we needed a switch for the living room. That could be an overhead light. Those are less less common uh, to have an overhead light in the living room. And so maybe what we would do is have a plug there. And again, half of it would be switched. So this switch here would be for a switch plug. And but that just gets you your living room. Perhaps what you might want to do is add a three-way switch here or even a four-way switch. So then we might go with a switch here with a four-way and then that would tie into the kitchen so that if you're coming through and I think I'd probably want it over here one way over. I think I'd put it here. So the other three way. So this three way, that four way, and this three way are all for the living room. So it might be good to note that. Whereas this three way was for the hall, along with this three way. So then um, at least that gives me a light when I'm coming out of the bedroom or out of the kitchen or into the home. I would have a switch plug that would turn on a lamp there. And the other thing that I'd probably want to do is some general lighting in this kitchen, something besides that entrance light. And I, I think I would probably, well, it's a bit tricky with the dining room light there, but maybe you could go two, two or three pot lights. So that might be kind of nice. A pot light and a pot light and a pot light and then that one. And those three pot lights then would be three-way so that the kitchen, if I was coming into the kitchen, I could turn those three pot lights on. And if I came from the back, I could turn on those three pot lights. And that would be my switching. So Right now I've got lights everywhere. Now I have to wire it out. So this would be how you would lay it out. Um, so you notice that some of the rooms have overhead lights, but some of the rooms just have switched plugs. All right, in our next video, I'll show you how to wire that up.